What's up guys, it's Alex or Gamer Chick here and today I have some Batman Arkham Knight, Witcher 3 and some Suicide Squad news for you guys. Now just before we jump into that, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, I'd love it if you hit that like button, that'd be absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, let's jump into this video. So last week the season pass for Batman Arkham Knight was announced and it was given a price and very little details of what was going to be in the season pass for Batman Arkham Knight. Now this is not a uncommon thing to happen. I company announcing the season pass even before the game is released but what was a little uncommon and didn't go over so well was how little news we got of the season pass and the price of the season pass. So pretty much all we got last week was this brief overview of the season pass. So it pretty much just said that we'll be getting new content for six months post launch including new story missions, additional supervillains, um, invading Gotham City, legendary Batmobile skins, advanced challenge maps, alternative character skins and a new drivable racetrack. That's pretty much the extent of what we got for the season pass. Now, what was really controversial, I suppose, and what people didn't really like was the price of the season pass um, for how little information we got. So, the price in the US for the season pass alone was $40. Here in Australia, we have to pay a whopping $60 for a season pass, which I don't, yeah, it's. It's a lot of money for a season pass. $60 is a lot of money for us. Now they also announced that there was going to be an online premium edition for the game which included the season pass. So that was going to be priced at $160 for consoles and $140 for PCs here in Australia. I believe it was $100 in the US and I think that was for the consoles. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I only have the the Australian press release, uh, but I believe it was around the $100 mark for the US. So, as you guys can probably tell, there was a lot of uh, backlash in regards to the, that kind of pricing for a season pass with so little detail. So recently they have decided to um, give us some more information on the season pass um, to sort of help uh, fans, I suppose, decide whether they want to pay $40 in the US or $60 here in Australia for a season pass. So I'm going to go through those details now to give you guys a better idea of what's going to be in this season pass. So I suppose one of the biggest um, things that jumped out to me, me in particular, was uh, Batgirl, A Matter of Family. So this is going to be an all new prequel story expansion, an entirely new location where you play as Batgirl for the first time in the Arkham series. Um, so there is a first render of Batgirl here, you see in this picture, um, and that, I have to be honest, it looks pretty cool, and um, I think it'd be pretty awesome to play as Batgirl, especially like, it's a prequel story in a new location, um, I don't, you know, we don't know how long the story is going to be, but it seems, I don't know, cool, I'm, it's, I'm definitely Pete my interest with that. So some other details in the season pass, we have the season of infamy, um, which is players Batman and all new story missions featuring legendary supervillains invading Gotham City with new story arcs, missions and gameplay features. We also have Gotham City stories, players Batman's key allies in narrative missions extending their storylines from both before and after the events of Batman Arkham Knight. Also available will be legendary Batmobiles with themed racetracks, so drive the most iconic Batmobiles from Batman's 75 year history on custom built race tracks, each themed to that Batmobile's specific era. Um, every Batmobile will be drivable across every race track. There is also Crime Fighter Challenge Maps, so this is engaged in a series of new challenge maps ut utilising the unique playstyle of Batman and his allies. We also get um, a variety of skins from across the eras of Batman, Robin, Nightwing and Catwoman, so different character skins and um, yeah that's pretty much all the details that we've gotten so far of the season pass. So my question to you is, especially if you guys are looking forward to Batman Arkham Knight, if you guys are going to pick up Batman Arkham Knight, if you guys have been looking for it for a while, and I mean even if you're not a fan, I'd love to know your thoughts on this season pass and the pricing for it. Do you think it's worth it? Um, do you think maybe not? Uh, it's, again, um, I've seen some people um, be a little upset of the fact that, you know, this is going to be coming out six months after, so it's not like a two-year plan like I think uh, Destiny has, how, you know, their season pass extends years after the game has been released. This um, content is going to come out six months or so after the game's been released, so it's pretty um, quick after the game, and I've heard a lot of people say that a lot of this stuff should already be put in the game from the get-go, and 
we shouldn't have to pay extra for it. But I don't know. I'd love to know your thoughts in particular. Um, and yeah, will you guys be picking up the season pass? Are you guys going to hold out until you play the game first and see if you enjoy it before getting the season pass? Or are you guys dead set? No way, not going to get the season pass, especially for that money. Uh, yeah, I'd really love to know your thoughts in the comment section below, or you can tweet at me or Facebook me. Those links are in the description. All right, so I have some news on Witcher 3. Uh, I know quite a few of you guys are interested in Witcher 3. And just a little bit of news. Uh, there is like a 45 minute gameplay up on YouTube. It's not on my channel. I have a link in the description to there's there's three parts, so three 15 minute parts. Um, some YouTubers got invited out to play and record the game early. And so if you guys haven't seen those videos, I'll have them linked linked in the description. So if you guys are curious about the game and you're not entirely sure if you want to pick it up, um, you can go check out that gameplay and see if it's something that you would enjoy, or even if you're totally gonna get Witcher 3. Um, it's some entertaining content to pass you by until the game is actually released, I suppose. So yeah, those links will be in the description. So for my last bit of news today, I'm gonna be talking about the Suicide Squad. So I know this isn't gaming news, but I'm excited for it. And they have the first official look at Suicide Squad, as you guys can see here. And uh, yeah, I just thought I would show you guys this because I was pretty excited for it and I figured some of you guys might enjoy it too. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, please hit that like button like I mentioned. And if you're new and you like to stay up to date on all sorts of gaming news, Easter eggs videos, gameplay videos, unboxing videos, all sorts of gaming videos, hit that subscribe button. That'd be absolutely amazing. Help me get to 50,000 subscribers. That's my goal. And I would really appreciate your help with that. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye.